Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way you can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 seven customer support. Don't miss keys fan mega discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description, add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount for Microsoft office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hello everyone. And welcome back here today in this video, we'll be taking a look at a new latest win later frost update. This is the modified version of official build, running on the Frost 7.1 version 4. All right, but before starting the video, if you are new to here, make sure you to subscribe our channel. So what's new in this update? Well, in this, they added new Box 64 version, added new DXVK 2.4, and there are some new changes. Okay, let's dive into the main part. I already updated when later. Okay, now head over to settings. Set Box 64 and 86 versions. Here, they added 0.3.0 to box 64, set both presets to compatibility. Others are same as usual. Here, I already created a container. I will show you the settings. There we go, set resolution. Choose turnip driver for Adreno. In DXVK, go to settings. Here, they added new DXVK 2.4 version. Same as usual for wine configuration. Set GPU and set video memory to max. Wine components, leave them as default. Also, in environment variables, they added TU debug to fix the turnip compatibility issue in Adreno 6 series. Leave them as default. Now go to advanced, set both presets to performance. Here select startup selection to aggressive. This will stop services. Set processor affinity, also for 32-bit apps. Save. Now start the system. And there we go, it's booted. In start menu, they also mentioned that they added more Wine 3D options. All right, guys, I'm going to test Sleeping Dogs based on DirectX 11 title. A bit intense, set to high settings at 1280 into 720. Also make sure to set higher affinity cores for better FPS performance. He's early. I'm not fucking blind. Relax, old boy. We're on the same side, remember? The other gate should know. Hey, you move for? Yeah, you got the money. Hey, the door is open. What?
Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, to subscribe us for more and more content. Thanks for watching. Peace out.